What is going on? Welcome to Ed News Now, your host, EJ Carrion. Today, I want to talk about an interview with Joe Manchin on CNN two Sundays ago, where he kind of reinforced that he will not be supporting a $3.5 trillion reconciliation reconciliation package. Now, this is a follow-up from a Wall Street Journal op-ed from September 2nd, but he sat down with Dana Bash and really was asked multiple times, what does he think the package should be? Um, numbers that kind of showed up in the interview was 1.5, 1. And so the thoughts here of why I think this is education news is because usually when we start shrinking packages, education is going to probably get cut first, right? We don't have a strong lobbying power and dollars compared to other industries. And also people might feel that we have the investments needed from past plans. Um, and also with the feel of school feeling a little bit back to normal, people just might feel like education might be okay. But the thing about this package or what was being requested, this is more systemic changes for, for, for families and kids, right? We're talking about child care, universal pre-K, and then we're also talking about free community college, big, bold, systemic changes around, you know, getting people involved in education, getting people back into the workforce. These are some bold ideas and big things that if, if we cut it down, will most likely be cut. Those are the concerns. Uh, a, a political playbook reported that $762 billion dollars is currently set aside for education, which includes $450 billion for childcare and universal pre-K. And then also a part of an infrastructure uh, piece as well, as you're going to see billions for, that's, you know, hundreds of billions for infrastructure and free community college. The infrastructure piece is also kind of a, a green economy piece and helping our, our schools be more energy efficient. Now, I want to know your thoughts. If it's cut, do you see education being cut as well? How and some ideas around how can we support education and support some of these bold ideas? And even when Senator Joe Manchin may not want to improve a $3.5 trillion package, which is a big number as we have continued to spend a lot of money. Thanks for watching Ed News Now.